hey YouTube what's up with five tutorials I thought I'd do tutorials today because I've been lacking them lately plus I'm off of school so I have plenty of time also I'm pretty psyched because tomorrow is Christmas Eve so that's pretty exciting and if you um God, if you don't stop at Christmas I like to say just happy holidays everyone you know Merry Christmas or happy Hanukkah or happy Kwanzaa other stuff like that so if you don't just happy holidays in general all right so today's tutorial um, it's basically just a, as you can see from the title, how to make a fisheye effect in Photoshop. I'm using CS3 Extended, but again, this can be done basically with any version. It's actually a very simple effect to um, accomplish. I want to show you what it looks like because you might not know how it looks like. I'm going to have a quick pick real fast. Alright, here's how it looks like of the fisheye lens type effect. Now they sell, like, just like this. Um, they sell lens lenses. I'm trying to get a good thing so you don't have to see the air, the mouse in the, in the image. See here. I'm just trying to leave it on here. All right. They sell lenses for cameras that are called fisheye lenses. It's what it does is it distorts your image so it's kind of like a bubble, like it's like a bubble type thing, and also it gives it a vignette around. But you can get rid of the vignette if you want to. But I personally like them. Um, the vignette. Some people don't, so I will show you how to get rid of it or keep it. Um, that's basically the effect. Just right here. So now here's how to make it. So you need an image. You have an image right here. Once you have that, crop it down to this a good size that you want it. I want to crop it down a little bit to like more of a square. Whoa, what did I just do? I'm crazy. More of a square. Like that. In this shape. Alright, that's good. Check it up here. And so I've got a good size. I want to go over here and do double click that background there and it and then okay, so it's unlocked. Then what I want to do is either do Control T or go do Edit, Transform, and then Warp. Okay, so you should have nine boxes either way you do it. Um, nine boxes like this. What we're gonna do is go to the top left hand corner. What you're gonna do is drag that corner in, just drag it in like this. Should be dragging in. Drag it in like this. So see how it's like that. And what we want to do is if you want to make this line right here a straight line, and make like that so it's a straight diagonal line and make sure that this little knob here is in the middle of that diagonal line it's not a complete straight line yet and I have to make it make sure this right here is in the middle of this diagonal line then do that for all four corners make it a straight line and make sure that this little white knob is in the middle of that line right that's good and again do that for all four corners so you can do, be doing this while I'm doing it on the video it's kind of good right there ish. I think it's good. Maybe down a little bit. Trying to get a good. <laughs> I think that's good for now. And again, so make sure you're doing the best here because once you click that check button up here, you can't, you know, undo it unless you just unless you want to start all over again and just redo all of this. So make sure you got it all good before you click the check button. And make sure that's good and once you like it and you're happy with what you did click the check button and that's basically it like, let's say yours is totally not a very it's not a circle and you want it to be a complete circle what you can do is you can go up here and right click that and click elliptical mark the elliptical marquee tool hold down shift so it makes a good circle around your image all right what you do is then is you right click it select inverse and click delete on your keyboard so it deletes everything around it so then you have a you have the effect but it's also a perfect circle Okay, and then you can do is you can move around this thing so it's centered. Well, it plays it up here. Move around. It's perfect. That's pretty centered. All right. Then we're gonna do. Now, some people might just want to stop here because they don't want the vignette around. I personally like the black around. That's what the black is, by the way. If you don't know the vignette, um, I like it. If you don't, if you don't like it and you want it like this, you have to say it like this. This is how you have to save it. File, save as, and you have to save it as a PNG. PNG. So whatever. Blah blah blah, and then PNG. Because if not, if you don't save it as a PG and save it as anything else, it will, this, the vignette, which is supposed to be the vignette, will turn out to be white. So if you save it as a PNG, if you upload to the website or whatever, um, the, this here will be whatever background the website, let's say you put on a website, like, um, any website, and let's say the background for the website is blue. The whole website would be blue, and then you just see this little bubble, like this little picture, and it's going to be a circle. It's not going to have anything around it. 
but if you didn't save it as a PNG, it would be a white box, then this, instead of being black, and then the blue website, so if that makes any sense at all. But make sure you save it as a PNG. Alright, I want it personally, so if you, if, if you want to, you can continue watching. I actually do continue watching, because um, I have to tell some important information at the end. I'm going to click new layer right here, and drag this downward. It's below that, it's below your main picture layer, so this is low. Go over here to your fill bucket tool and make sure it's on black as your for like your foreground color is black. Click it and then you've got it. That's basically it. That's the effect. Um, hope that helped you out like at all. And if it didn't, um, sorry. <laughs> all right. So I hope you liked the tutorial and I hope it helped you out. Um, I also like to say that I really do need requests for tutorials. So I'm running out of ideas and I don't know what to do because I don't know what you guys want me to do. So my subscribers that are subscribed to me, please give me some requests. Also, if anyone else just wants to request, go ahead. Email me at itutorials.yt at gmail.com. And I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Um, yep, that's kind of it. Happy holidays, and have a good one. Oh, by the way, also happy holidays and, the ha and have a happy new year. And be safe. Alright, bye.